<laughs> Let me sit up. <laughs> so these were my booktube spin picks for booktube uh, spin number five. I think it was number eight and wow, it's really sunny today. It's never sunny, so I'd never have to deal with this usually. Got this bar of sunlight right there. Okay, I'll squeeze over. I think this was number eight, whichever the first spin number was, I don't quite remember. And this was number 13, but I only wanted one. So I'm just going with the first number that was picked. So put that one down. I almost threw it. It's can't, I can't bring myself to do that. Um, so it's this one, The Three Body Problem by Sishin Liu, which I think is the first book in a trilogy. Um, at the very least, I know it's the beginning of a series. So I, as I said, I think I said, if I didn't actually say it, then I meant to say it. I, I've been planning to film a vlog video with my first ever booktube spin book. So I guess it's this one. Um, I'm currently reading another book. So um, I probably won't start this for a couple more days. It's Saturday now. So I expect I'll see you again on hopefully Monday. Hopefully Monday. Okay, so it's like two weeks later, a week later, and I am now finally actually reading <laughs> The Three Body Problem. Um, it took me a while to get into this, partly I think because I've just been really busy. I've had a lot of stuff going on. Just, I've had a hard time focusing on reading lately. And this book starts off real heavy. <laughs> it's about 1960 something and we're talking about the Cultural Revolution in China which was a real thing. Uh, this author is drawing a lot on real events that happened and a lot of actual theories of physics now. I'm only like 80 pages in. I'll show you that but yeah, the Cultural Revolution in China, pretty intense. They were like torturing professors. It's this, um, it's the Red Guard versus the People's Liberation Army. And I don't remember which one now. One of them is a socialist movement or like communism. They're trying to bring back communism. And it's really kind of dark and heavy and graphic a little bit. So... And, and it was not how I was expecting this book to start at all because I, I thought this was about alien contact. And I think it is, but I'm realizing more and more that we're going to really take our time getting to that part of the story. So yeah, Cultural Rev Revolution, that was the beginning. And we followed one character, this um, youngish woman. And then she is taken to this research facility and something to do with this big satellite that they're using for missile direction or something like that. Like, it's so, this book is so dense. There's just a lot going on and I'm having kind of a hard time keeping track of it all. Because from there we jump to this other narrator guy, Wang, and he's a physicist, an, an applied something or other physicist. And he's learning about the Frontiers of Science, which is this group of physicists and scientists who are trying to like find the edges of what we know about the universe, I think. And all these scientists who were part of the Frontiers of Science are killing themselves. And now this one guy has been kind of asked to join them, or he already is part of it. I don't know. I can't really keep track. <laughs> but... It's, it's just now getting more interesting to me because this scientist, he hears about the frontiers of science and what's happening with the people committing suicide. And then he goes home and he's like a hobby photographer and he goes around taking all these photos and then he develops the film and on the film is this like watermark or whatever of these numbers. And he realizes over time that the numbers are counting down and the countdown will end in approximately 50 days. Okay, that's cool. And he's like kind of hypothesizing, but like almost not really letting himself totally hypothesize that some outside entity is 
sending this message directly to him and he doesn't know why he doesn't know what this entity might desire or why they'd be sending this to him and not sure what to think of it so far it's a very very slow build So Wang, our current main character, goes into this video game, like he sees, he, he meets this other scientist who is playing this game in a, like a VR suit that allows you to experience sensation, like heat and cold and whatnot, and he goes to 3body.net and <laughs> logs in and starts playing this video game. And we've been in this game for like 10 pages, and um, <laughs> it's very weird. Uh, the sky at one point lays down in the sun and dehydrates and becomes this like dried skin. And then this other guy rolls him up and passes him to Wang, and Wang just like carries him. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then they walk to this big city where they meet the king, and they talk to him about trying to predict seasons and ages. They call it a chaotic era or a stable era. Before this, we'd been, like, when we were in the real world, we were talking about how it's possible that the laws of physics don't actually exist the way that we have thought for, I don't know how many years, <laughs> the way we've thought for many years that they exist, that maybe actually there are no laws of physics and everything's completely unpredictable. So then when Wang goes into this game, in the game, there are no laws of physics and everything is completely unpredictable. Um, so what? <laughs> in summary, I don't know what's going on, but it's interesting. Uh, currently everyone's rehydrating, so I'm going to get back to that. So that's the end of the, the video game sidebar. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> At the end of it, um, the, the era that they're in ends and then text shows up and it says, this era has ended, please log on to the game again in the future. And then a bunch of people leave the game. about halfway through now and I I'm digging it I'm liking this <laughs> it's very dense atmospheric it's really got me pondering a lot of things so Wang's playing three body he logs into the game a few times and he plays this game and I found that, like while I was reading these sections Wang gets like really absorbed into this game and so do I like I feel totally immersed in this game it's this whole other world it's strange the laws of physics don't apply it's very it's kind of confusing and very like celestial <laughs> we're we're contemplating 
the laws of the universe. What, what laws govern this world inside the game? And then we jump out of that and it's kind of jarring for us and for Wang. <laughs> and um, then in his everyday life, Wang is still kind of contemplating this weird thing that happened with the camera and um, like what's happening with the scientists. And he also goes and meets Ye, who's now an older woman. And he talks with her and finds it very comforting talking with her. But he also finds out a little bit more about what she actually did at that military base with the satellite. And spoiler, I guess, it turns out she was involved in some research into extraterrestrial life. <laughs> The, the big satellite, what its purpose was to like beam out signals via microwaves. I don't know if they were using the microwaves to send the signal or if that was just, I don't know, I don't really understand. I don't understand a lot of what's going on, to be honest. But it's really fascinating. So, yeah, she was helping maintain the satellite and send out signals into the universe um, searching for extraterrestrial life. And then they actually let her go, which is great because she was kind of a prisoner. <laughs> so, yeah, Wang is talking to her, and it's just the whole... The thing in the game is super interesting. It's kind of giving me Matrix vibes because the problem that Wang identifies in the game, Three Body, the Three Body Problem <laughs> title, is what are the laws that govern this universe? And it almost seems to feel like the universe he's in is contrived, you know? Like maybe the laws of physics that everyone on Earth knows to be true, the fundamental laws of physics, maybe they're actually created to seem like they're the natural fundamental laws of physics, but they've been created by this outside force that has like ultimate power over their world. Um, plus he's in a video game, so that's probably helping with my Matrix <laughs> vibes I'm getting. Yeah, really, really interesting. There's footnotes. It's quite dense. A lot of the physics stuff I don't totally understand but Liu also he, he's incorporating a lot of true things from history in and kind of weaving them into the story like he talks about um seti the s something <laughs> extraterrestrial uh i don't know what is it seti s-e-t-i anyway and he talks about like a big uh, transmitter in Puerto Rico that's used to like try to send out signals and find extraterrestrial life and that's real and like a, a lot of other stuff too of course. So the three bodies I think are these oh, I only have one hand because I'm holding my camera <laughs> the the three kind of white orbs on this cover I think those are the three bodies and Wang has identified them as three suns um, that are all in orbit around Earth, or Earth is orbiting all three of them and kind of is getting pulled into the different orbits. And that's why in this video game... The, oh, this is all happening in, in the video game. <laughs> and that's why in this game they don't have a stable day-night cycle or stable seasons or anything. It's just like civilizations... Um, growing and then dying and growing and dying and growing and dying <laughs> because um, everything is so unpredictable. It's just unsurvivable, you know? And yeah, he's realized that there's actually three suns and, the, and Earth is kind of being pulled this way and that. So anyway, <laughs> think, thinking that what he's discovered in the game is going to become relevant to what is happening outside of the game because how could it not? Yeah, it's, it's got me pondering a lot of things 
in in a really good way. It's very like extraterrestrial life and physics and does humanity deserve to have a good future? Um, stuff like that. What what is the nature of reality? Deep deep thoughts. Deep thoughts happening here. Anyway, um, it's time for bed. So I'm gonna update you soon. So this is what I like to call shoveling anarchy. I'm just going to clear little bits of the driveway, the most important parts, or just parts that I feel like shoveling right now. The thing is there's a bunch of ice underneath of the snow, so I can't really be like shovel anything bare. There's going to be like more ice and snow underneath of a lot of it, so whatever. I'm just going to do whatever I feel like doing. <laughs> So Wang passed level one of three body. He solved the, the main problem, I guess, in level one. And now he's moved on to level two. And <laughs> so what's happening now in the game is, so when people log into the game, they can just make their own um, username or whatever. And everyone seems to be choosing the names of various scientists. So he's hanging out with Newton and von Neumann. <laughs> and Newton and von Neumann have also solved the, the initial problem. And now they're trying to build, or they are building, a calculating machine that can um, predict the cycles of these three bodies. Um, so they can predict when there will be a stable era and everything's kind of normal and humanity can progress and civilizations can be built. And then when there will be a chaotic era when um, everything is unpredictable and, and the earth is, you know, in disarray. So they, they don't have, like, technology in this game. It's very, like, basic and it, it's kind of like ancient technology is all they have access to. So Newton and von Neumann are building a computer with soldiers. <laughs> They've gathered 30 million soldiers and had them stand in different formations, and they've given them all flags. So most of them have a black flag and a white flag, and they raise and lower them depending on what happens around them. And they represent, like the black flag I think represents a zero, and the white flag represents a one. Might be other, the other way around, I'm not sure, but yeah. So they have 30 million men arrayed over however many kilometers, and it's a computer, and they're doing calculations. My arm's getting tired holding this up. Okay, I'll switch arms. But the problem that arises then for me as I'm reading it is like, because this is kind of an aside, the parts where they're where Wang is in the game is kind of, it's like a 10 to 20 page departure from the main plot of the story, but I know that it ties in and they, they make it feel like it's really gonna tie in, but we really don't know how, because the game is so strange and kind of mysterious. 
but I can't help but wonder that what they're doing is trying to predict when there will be a stable era and when there will be a chaotic era on this planet, Earth, basically. But what's the point? Because we've already established that every now and again, and I think they might be able to predict when, um, the Earth just gets destroyed <laughs> by the third body. So, like, what's the point of predicting the end of the world if, if, if it's just going to end, you know? I also just wanted to say that this three-body game feels like a simulation of real life. That's kind of the way it's been portrayed, um, kind of as though they're getting all of these uh, high-level scientists to enter this game where they can be in, in a safe uh, space to test out their theories to solve a real problem. And we don't know that for sure. That's just kind of the way that it feels right now. Okay, see you in a bit. <laughs> Came back. It's been like five minutes. <laughs> so what just happened is they had just calculated accurately with their human computer <laughs> uh, what would, you know, when there would be a stable era, when there would be a chaotic era. And as they watch the sunrise, a man comes running and says, shut it down, you know, the world's going to end. We've seen the, the third body, the third sun. And they're like, they're like, no, what are you talking about? We only see one sun. And then he points out that it's actually that the three suns have aligned in a straight line with the planet, which is called a so, trisolar syzygy. And then what starts to happen is the combined gravity of the three suns starts to pull on the Earth so much that everyone starts to float, and then they lose their atmosphere, and everything goes dark, and <laughs> the, the planet's getting sucked into the gravity of the three suns, and then um, the, the level ends, kind of. They, like, they lost the level this time, and it says this, this civilization was um, destroyed by a trisolar syzygy. And, uh, yeah, and then... Someone comes over, uh, comms, basically, and asks Wang for his personal information. And he says, why? And they say, well, when you get to this level, you're supposed to provide all of your personal information, like real contact information. And he kind of reluctantly gives it because they say that if he doesn't give it, then he'll be locked out of the game forever. So he gives it, and then he's told of a meetup that's happening amongst players of this game. So that's exciting. Just wanted to tell you that before I move on. So it's seeming more and more like we might actually meet aliens in this book. I've only got about 80 pages left. Um, but now the question is, do we want to meet the aliens? <laughs> so Wang has come across this group of people um, who have been playing Three Body for a long while now, and apparently the people are kind of split into two groups. So this book has a real, like, down the rabbit hole feeling. Uh, it's fun. So we keep learning new stuff constantly. There's just new, new revelations being made all the time. So there's two groups, and one group of people uh, called the Adventists believe that humanity is evil and we've kind of destroyed the earth and we're irredeemable so they want aliens to come to earth and basically destroy civilization they they want to redo they want to start over <laughs> they think you know everyone likes a good fresh start right so the Adventists just want to let the aliens come and conquer the, the Earth. And 
annihilate mankind and they can just start over, just start fresh. And then the other group are the redemptionists and they believe that humanity has the ability to redeem itself and that they can solve the three body problem and then that will prevent the aliens from destroying earth basically and still unclear whether or not the aliens are actually coming to earth but it's it's kind of feeling more and more like maybe aliens are real <laughs> oh yeah we've got a name for the planet in the three body game which is called trisolaris so that's cool trisolaris because there's three suns and uh yeah oh and uh wang went to visit ye wenjie i'm t definitely not saying those names properly but he visits ye again and ye reveals that um, she didn't tell him everything about her time at Red Coast Base, working with the giant radio transmitter. So she tells him the rest of the story, which is very revealing. And I won't get into it because I don't want to spoil this entire book during this vlog. <laughs> I have a feeling that from now on I'm probably going to get more and more vague. <laughs> I'll, I'll give my impressions, but not so much about what's actually happening in the in the plot so yeah i expect i'll probably finish this today i have the day off i don't have too much going on I'm gonna maybe go skating later but then uh yeah lots of reading time so i expect i will see you again when i'm finished Those were my mediocre skating skills. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> it's been several years since I went ice skating. Um, so I finished the book. Done. Finished it last night. Um, very, very good. It was a pleasure reading this book. Um, I can't think of anything that I would like to change. It's just mysterious and strange and there's a lot of physics and math but I felt like it was explained enough that I was understanding what I needed to understand. The science felt very realistic. I don't know enough about physics to know if it's plausible or not, but it felt plausible enough to me. Um, not everything went super smoothly, which I really appreciated. There were kind of troubleshooting scenarios that felt very realistic and made, made the science feel more earned and more plausible to me <laughs> as a regular person with an English degree who doesn't know a ton about physics or a lot of sciences in general. <laughs> so really appreciated that. The last hundred pages or so are mostly like explaining a lot of the questions and mysteries that were set up earlier in the book. So not as much of a down the rabbit hole feeling as most of the rest of the book had. Although there were a couple more little kind of fun, cool things that came up. Highly recommend. As long as you're not super put off by a lot of detailed descriptions of physics and stuff. Sorry, my cat's walking on the table. He might be rocking the camera just a little bit. Um, so thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. It's my first vlog ever. I know William has enjoyed interrupting it. <laughs> and go read Three Body Problem. It's an excellent book. I'll see you very soon. Have a good day. Bye.